All right, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios, and this comes from our class, The Ultimate Toolmaker's Guide to the Affinity Suite. So if you like what you hear and you want a little bit more, go ahead and check out the link below for a special price for our YouTube family and a special discount on our monthly subscription plan. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Alright folks, welcome back to Affinity. Now, this is an Affinity Photo exclusive tutorial. Now, when we get to the project part of this section, I did save this half tone as a PNG for you, but this method is not available in Affinity Designer. Now, can you create circles and then power duplicate, reducing the circles at every so often? Absolutely. But this halftone screen is going to be how to do it in Affinity Photo. So this is an Affinity Photo exclusive. Now you want to create a workspace. It really doesn't matter what the workspace size is. So mine here is about 16 by 20 inches. We can go by pixels. The same method is clear. Let's go ahead and grab a rectangle out. And now you're going to go ahead and create a gradient fill. And you're going to want on the side of the gradient fill to go black and white, not green. All right, just happen to be green because that was the last one that I did. All right, now this half tone, where you get grays, you're going to get very, very small dots. Where there is white, there will be no dots. So you see this will make it a very long gradient. And where is black, you get big dots. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this right about here. All right, now, once you're done there, you go to filters, you go to colors. Oh, let's see here. And we're going to look for the half tone. Now, let's just do it this way. It's been a long day here. All right, let's go to colors and let's just go ahead and do a live filter. Boom, just like that. All right, now, if you increase the cell size, what happens? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go round as my method. And there you go, folks. That is a full-on halftone filter right there. All right. Move that out. Move this up. There we go. That way we don't get half tones in half. Perfect. Go to File, Export, and Export as a PNG called this halftone screen too. Now, if you followed along this far in Affinity Designer, you'll notice there is not a way for that filter to exist in Affinity Designer. You will have to take each one of these dots and then power duplicate it out, reducing it every single step. It is a huge pain in the backside. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it on this one. Hope you learned a little something. Have a good one.